We're recording now. Are you hitting go? We hit go. This is weighing my arm down. Jump in, pull. What is this? <laughs> that, this is too much. That is. It's heavy. Foreshadowing ah. today's tutorial. Yeah. You just What's need, the tutorial? You need stronger arms. You need stronger arms. Stop making fun of my arms. Gun show. Nah. Um. Today's tutorial is baking. No. Sorry. Baking. Mixed it. Okay, mitten time. I'm just going to show you the materials I use. It's just felt. The two mittens are felt and the little uh, scalloped edges are felt. That's some thread and some buttons and a couple little charms. And we use a little bit of hot glue in this as well. And we're going to make a mitten. So basically I'm going to sew stitching along the edge of those scalloped pieces um, so that it looks like a little dotted line, kind of like cartoon stitching. I'm just doing that along the edges of both those uh, the scalloped kind of linings. Um, and to make the thread show up a little bit brighter, I used two threads instead of one. Um, just because the one thread doesn't show up that well, but you could even like triple up or, you know, it depends on the size of your needle, but the bigger, like the more threads you use, the more obvious it's going to be. And then if you are hesitant, you could use um, like a chalk or like a white pencil crayon to maybe make dotted lines just so that you have kind of like a template to follow along with the threading. And then now I'm just putting these little guys on and I'm just going to layer them so it kind of look, look, looks like the roof of a gingerbread house like shingles this is such a super easy craft um, and then I'm just gonna sew on the buttons and I guess if you didn't feel like sewing you could totally just use hot glue and glue the buttons on um, and like if you wanted to just draw the little stitch marks that could work too like if you're just not someone who works well with needle and thread But I only sew them on, like I just use two, like I just go through it twice, the button, like sew through once and then once more through the holes, because obviously they, like, they're not gonna be tugged on too much once they're, once they're on, it's just, just decoration. Tie it off, trim off the edges. And then now I'm gonna do more stitch work like along the edges, just the same same pattern like stitching, kind of like cartoon stitching all along the edge. And I think I think I used triple thread, I think I, I did triple. And so basically what I've gone through is the inner side so that you, the, the knot's hidden on the inside of the mitten. And then just sew along the edge, and there it is. So I didn't sew, sew it up completely. I left the top part open so that I could stuff it with some polyfill just so that I could, it had a little bit of body to it. Cause I guess you could leave it just like flat, but I thought it looked cuter if it was puffed up a little bit more. And then just sew up the top when you're done. Just finish it off. And that, you could literally just stop there. But I add a little charm on the corner of the mitten. It's a snowflake and a little jingle bell. And like you could add anything and I like again you could probably just hot glue charms onto the mittens if you don't feel comfortable with a needle and thread yeah and then I just reinforced I think I went through twice two or three times just to make sure those didn't come off and then just tie any, tie it off and trim off any loose thread. And that's it, a cute little mutton. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna let it film for a minute. It's heavy. It can't be that heavy. It's really heavy. It can't be that heavy. Is it mitten or mitten? Mitten. 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 Please. Help me with this. Okay. Down. <laughs> Why do you keep doing that to me? Ah, uh, you're an easy target. Ah. So, show the folks. Uh, ah, it's, ah, that was it's still there. Good. It's still there. I'm gassy. Ah. <laughs> So, show them. Tutorial's done. Hope that was good and easy. 
And if you want to see more pics and more information about the tools I used, check out the blog, wokawoku.com. And then post your pictures on Instagram. Tag us, it's Waka Waka World. Um, but yeah, you can find all that information in the description box and also on the blog. Please do. Yeah. Please stop burping in my face. And I'm waiting for him to finish his Christmas baking. And have you even finished your Christmas shopping? Or? Yeah. Yeah. I did. Sure. I bought you something nice. Yeah, really? I bought you this. Whatever you're gonna do, don't do it. Ah, <laughs> I hate this man. <laughs> it's too weak. Oh, <laughs>